Hey folks, nice to have you here. Welcome to yet another recycler stream. Um, I've gotten a call from the recycler a couple of days ago. I've been very excited about this. It's It's been quite a while now. Um, and they called me over for um, three large bins of keyboards to go through. So um, I came home with 19 keyboards total and I wanted to do a quick video showing you what I found. Let's get started with with some uh, nice things that I got. <laughs> they found this um, uh, C64 um, and even though it's on a keyboard they still kept it for me because they thought I'd be the right person to take care of this and they thought it'd be too too sad to let it go away. Holy this thing looks brand new. It's a bit, I mean, it's probably yellowed. Double shot keycaps. But the thing looks like super squeaky clean. I don't think it's ever been typed on. Yeah, looking for a collector to take this. Uh, I'm totally not interested. So. Marking. I don't know. Um, I just promised them that I would find a new owner for this. Comes with this uh, thingy, 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 m m bob. Keep it clean. Oh yeah, I gotta, I gotta give it a sticker uh, so that people can refer to it. And because I made 19 stickers and I came home with 19 keyboards, and this is one of them. Here we go. Yet another nice find. Um, I keep not finding many MX Black keyboards. It's a shame because I'm a big fan of MX Blacks and um, they're great, um, a great source of uh, spare parts and stuff. Nice sliders and stuff. So this is one of the few MX Black boards I've found in a while. Um, so it's an uh, 11900 board, G80. Um, it's a it's a neat layout. I especially love these the this arrangement up here. This is a bit crab. I mean, uh, it's missing one cap. I don't know. Probably four parts. Um, yep. At least I make switches. I found some Model M's today, which is pretty neat, and especially if I found some um, square badge Model M's. That's pretty neat, I didn't re- Of course, yeah, they're super neat. This one's even got the, it's even got the protective uh, plastic film on it. Um, you, you can just pull that off and it's gonna be like super uh, nice uh, sh metal shiny. <laughs> the bad thing about this is it's got a detachable cable but it's got like, this thing's a coil, but the other end of the cable looks like this. Wah, wah, wah. Maybe nice for a USB mod. I mean, I would love to put some USB, like USB ports on this cable. I think it's got enough, um, enough um, like cables in there uh, for USB. And that coil is gonna drop some panties. A couple of caps missing. But that's, that's how things go there. A couple of spare caps are going to be around. Oh, a bit of rattling in there. So um, probably a couple of broken rivets. Who cares? It's a, it's a stupid Model M. Go die. found this one okay <sighs> the G81 curse I keep finding G81s Oops. so here's a G81 with um, ABS double shots so that's why I kept it saved it from the from the trash bin 
Um, it has it had two missing caps. I I found them both in the bin, which is quite unusual. I'm usually happy if I find like one missing cap in the in the bin. Um, so this one actually had both caps in the bin. Ah. Good old, gonna fix this cap. Yep. Like new. This one's only good for the caps. The cable is crap. Anything else is crap. I'm just gonna pull the caps off. What are the caps like? They're like, yeah, yeah, They're like medium shine. And what's this? I was super excited. Oh wow, um, a G81K. I'm so happy, G81K. Yeah, G81K. It's an date code a a29 can you see this this thing's old it's a very early a g81k and it comes with crappy mx blues <sighs> yeah this would this would have been a, an amazing source for nice vintage blacks but it had to be mx blues Ooh, that's a nice shade of blue Yeah, double shots, of course. It's a very nice shade of blue. Wow! They're cute. Hey, old blue, old blue thingies. Yeah. Like four caps and obviously for these super nice blue sliders. Yet another G81 with ABS double shots. Oh, yeah. Something went wrong. This one got the wrong cap. See? Fix that. Yeah, today was my lucky day when it comes to uh, finding uh, missing caps. So, uh, this one had two missing caps, F10, which I correctly put back in place. And uh, also this other sharp S key. And um, yeah, this one's on the shiny side. Oh yeah, there you can see it. I've got a new I got a new light on my desk. I, I hope you like it. It's very lighty, bright. Um, I mean, who cares what's on the back of a G eighty one? It's a G eighty one. I told you this was a great day for Model M's. Just missing the caps lock. Let me check this. Oh, you want to see the date codes, right? 87, is that good? 1st of May, 87. Don't they have May Day in, in the UK? <laughs> Margaret Thatcher really messed you up, right? You hippies. <laughs> Working on May Day. Let me just give you the date code on the other one. Let's say 23rd of October, um, 86. Okay, the game goes on. Next round, today was also a day for ML switches, G83s, and this one, that looks just nasty. I was like, mm, what a what a fugly little thing. Big din plug. But mm, like new. I'm not gonna lick it though. Nah. Oh yeah. 
So a nice G83 or 84, I don't know, whatever this ML switch is. G84 it is. Let me check it. Tactile? It's tactile, I think. Oh, wait. And the caps are uh, ABS printed. Wow, this one looks like the there's like really no damage at all, uh, no dirt at all in the keyboard. Then we have this little cute thing. It's a, a KBT compact something keyboard. Um, it's pretty cute. Um, I was hoping for some something better. Because I mean, this is this is a seventy-five percent. They've been around long before someone called them seventy-five percent, probably. And they got these KBT switches. KP KPT switches. Yeah. I was hoping for uh, MX Whites, maybe. Uh, sorry, uh, White Alps. It's overall a neat, neat, neat keyboard. I, I guess something's wrong with it. I don't know why it's been, like someone's obviously taking this thing apart. Let's try this. Okay, I'm not gonna break it. Oh, there's another screw. Yeah, there's yet another screw. Yeah, um, the caps are pretty looking smoking hot. Let's check this. German layout, double shots, probably Thai house. Someone said it's probably Thai house. Whatever. Thai hose. <laughs> How do you pronounce them properly? Yeah, the LEDs won't come in properly. I'm gonna give this 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 needs all love and care. Probably a nice collector piece. Okay, I didn't wanna make this a huge deal. Here is another ML keyboard. ML switches. You gotta love them. This layout is just, it's a super neat layout. They, they've been a little creative here. A little too creative, if you ask me. Especially this is rubbish and this is rubbish. But still, yeah, I might just drop the keycaps in the, in the ultrasonic cleaner. Legends are still fine. Here. Serial date code and stuff. Yeah, let me know if you're interested. It comes with a USB plug, so you might want to use it for your media player or something like that. If you want to have like the the, the the least, the smallest amount of like the bottom level of mechanical keyboard. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. here's a couple, couple bread and butter boards. Oh, forgot one thing. This thing needs a sticker. Okay. That's just, oh, that's another, that's another uh, MX Blues board. Let's check it out. Let's see what uh, shade of blue we're, we got here. It's blue. Of course, a uh, nice uh, thick PBT, lasered, uh, date code I24, <sighs> nice G81K case. Um, I wish it was blacks. This, this one, I just took this one home because I feel bad for all the Amiga keyboards that I bought. This is an Amiga 2000 keyboard, if I'm not mistaken. And I have bought a lot of Amiga 2000 keyboards and um, 
mostly for caps and switches. Don't tell Zebart. This one's like the the crappiest version of the Amiga 2000 keyboards you can get, but I guess it's better than not having a keyboard for the Amiga 2000. So I'm gonna put this this one on eBay for like 10 bucks or something, just to give back to the poor Amiga guys who've been struggling with the mean keyboard people who pay ridiculous prices for their treasured keyboards. Here's something that always puts a smile on my face. Beloved um, G83K SAD. Mm. That's, I, I never get sick of those. Like I, I could come home with a bin full of these and I would still treasure every single one of them. Oh yeah, I forgot to put a sticker on the Amiga but I guess no one's gonna be interested so I'll just let you know. Yamiga is getting this sticker. Mmm, the finest of the bindest, the binding MX MY switches. Okay, here we go. Now, now, no, um, that's those are like the bread and butter boards. Um, I wish it was MX Blacks, but it's MY switches. Ah, yeah. So here we go. Thick PBT. I just, I just can't leave a, a, a full thick PBT keyboard there, despite the fact that it has a messed up bottom row. Like, what's that? Who came up with that? Yeah. I. I think I'm gonna find someone who's gonna love it. Those are still great calves. Same thing here. MY keyboard, thick PBT caps. At least it's got the uh, the classic bottom row with a nice seven unit um, PBT spacebar. Also great, like always good to have a couple of those. Um, in reserve, hardly seen any use. Like it, it pretty much looks brand new. Like the, the keycaps are in great condition. Yeah, I know someone who's gonna love this. One more. Did I forget some stickers? I, I feel like I have too many stickers here. I'm gonna go through the keyboards later on and see if I missed any. Also, very clean looking, like very smooth for MY switches. A thick PBT, just just for the keycaps. Oh yeah, this one. This is the the uh, the other MX Blue board. I forgot to put a sticker on this one. Okay. So yeah, I wanted to get this done. Nice uh, G81K board, but it's it's a bit ugly and it's got stickers on it and someone's mobile number. <laughs> okay. Now comes the gems. I'm not sure about the particular order, but I'm pretty sure this one goes first. Yet another, yet another neon titties. It's um, it's a razor, and it's got them neon um, neon switches, neon razor switches. Clicky, yay! I love them. <laughs> <laughs> Who throws these away? Like it, it's still it's sort of like a it's sort of keyboard. <laughs> I love like this is like the fifth razor 
<laughs> I found that the recycler, either they're super popular or they are super trashy and people just have to throw them away all the time. But I, f I found like, yeah, I've got three lying around right behind me. And this is another one. Found a couple of with MX Blues. Which one's this? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I got a sticker it. I might be selling the, the switches off. I don't know if anyone wants this thing as a whole. Okay, I really don't know wh what's the right what's the right order now, but I'm just gonna go by how I feel. Motherfucker. Okay, I'll let you guess. Nice MX Blues in a nice AT layout. So nice. I'm so happy with this one. Such a great find. Oh yeah, so this is the the thing that, that they put in the back. Yeah. Pretty weird. Oh yeah, not mm, this one's not for sale. Uh this is uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna sell the next MX uh, Blue Alps. Did I say MX Blues? Blue Alps, of course. It's Blue Alps. What's wrong with me? So sorry. Yeah, this one's gonna be collected. It's an exotic, and nice board, and I want to keep it. And yeah, it's just cute. Oh, let me check one thing. Are those? Is control stabilized? And is it double shot? Oh, it's double shot. Let me see. Is it is it crappy German? Localization where the German keys are pad printed, I guess. Yes. Still, thanks for thanks for like, releasing a German layout. Okay, here comes a big one, and that's really that's a first time. Like, <sighs> I'm so happy. I'm like. Just, just a tip first. Oh yeah. That's a, I'm gonna whip it out. Like, oh, look at that coil. <laughs> Here it comes. Careful. Oh yeah. It's my first ever Model F. My first ever Model F. And it's an AT. It's an Model F AT keyboard. Mm. So good. I was super excited. Like this one really made my day. How much better can it get? Model F AT. I've seen it all now. The only thing I haven't seen at the recycler yet are Nixies and who needs those? Crappy crapper crabs. So smooth. Mm, I need some alone time with this one. Yeah, just lovely. And both of the feet, like the the levers are still there, the feet are still working. <laughs> this is so amazing. Oh, it's from Frankfurt University. That's so cute. Thanks for throwing this away. Um, from 1985. I guess that's that's a pretty late date for a Model F, is it? I've got no idea. Stop screaming at me. Um, yeah, but I mean everything's in place. The coil's pretty decent. It's got this like this this fucking truck of a of a of a, of a plug. Ah. Like they don't make them like this anymore. Oh. Okay, thanks very much for watching. It was um, it was a pretty epic day. I had like. A a lot of, lot of average bread and butter stuff, but there's been a quite neat amount of uh, amazing keyboards this time. Uh, Blue Alps and a Model F and Sad Caps and like a couple of MX Caps and the usual MY crap and really, uh, really neat. I, um, I really enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.